Hi, I'm Kelsey Mays for Cars.com, and we're at the 2013 New York International Auto Show looking at the latest example of a car that came to Europe a while ago, and we Americans are finally just getting to take a look at it. This is the redesigned 7th generation Volkswagen Golf and its higher performance sibling, the VW GTI. Now, the Golf has been on sale in Europe for a little while. U.S. shoppers will get a crack at it starting in 2014. Let's take a closer look. Now, Volkswagen says that this Golf and GTI is lighter in every variation versus its predecessor. That's despite the car being about two inches longer and a half inch wider than the old Golf and GTI. Uh, fuel efficiency should also improve thanks to new turbocharged four-cylinder engines that culminate in a 210 horsepower engine for the GTI. There's also an available turbo diesel option. Similar headlights as the last Golf, but a sweeping kind of plastic vein here that extends at the bottom portion of the bumper. Now, the GTI gets a honeycomb insert for its lower bumper opening. Uh, it's a deeper insert. It also gets some ground effects, a lowered sports suspension, and wheels with red painted brake calipers beneath. In back, the last rounded taillights have been dropped for uh, more angular versions here. They're smoked, they're darkened in the GTI. Uh, a much better look, actually, I think for the tail, but I wish Volkswagen would mix things up a little bit more. This is a very conservative redesign. You're going to drive by and a lot of people are going to think you have a previous generation Golf or GTI. Uh, interior quality took a dive in Volkswagen's Jetta when they redesigned it. It's nice to see that the Golf maintains the high levels of quality that came before. Uh, soft padding in all the important areas. A lot of nice premium little touches, things like a headliner that extends down the A pillars here, a uh, carpeted area where the uh, the door pockets are, uh, little premium touches here like a center armrest that continues to come up and extend uh, like the old Golf had, something we've always liked. Um, a couple of things we wish that Volkswagen did change were the sun roof visor here, not really opaque, uh, allows the sun to still kind of get through, and um, sun visors, also wish they would extend. Not sure if those will change when the production car will come out, so keep an eye on that. Uh, storage areas, interesting here. The glove compartment, pretty small, but there is a little storage area that slides out from underneath the passenger seat. Um, I guess it allows a little more of that space to come back. The GTI gets black headliner and sports seats with higher bolsters to hold you in during cornering. All cars now get a 5.8 inch touchscreen here with smartphone-like swiping functions, Volkswagen says, should make it easier to use. Back seat, pretty well um, compartmentalized here. Uh, I've got decent leg room um, and good headroom, actually. The rear seats fold in a 60-40 split, but in this car at the auto show, there's also a center portion that folds down for a pretty good pass-through here. Uh, pretty good stuff there as far as versatility. Now, we don't have numbers on cargo space yet, but Volkswagen says it has increased behind the back seat, which is a good thing because the last Golf didn't have a whole lot of room compared to cars like the Subaru Impreza hatchback, the Mazda 3, uh, the Hyundai Elantra GT. Styling doesn't depart very much from the current Golf, but this car has already won Europe's prestigious European Car of the Year award, so we're expecting big things once it shows up in U.S. showrooms.